Today in our 2018 Toyota Highlander, we're going to be installing eTrailer.com's Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver, part number E98844. And this is what your hitch is going to look like when it's installed. You are going to be able to see the cross tube underneath the bumper, but it's going to be tucked back and the matte finish is going to nicely flow right into that lower fascia. This is a Class 3 2-inch by 2-inch receiver, so it's going to be great for all your towing needs, from bike racks to cargo carriers to trailers, this thing will tow it all. It uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin and clip. Now one doesn't come included with the kit, but you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com. It has plate style safety chain loops with large rectangular openings that should accommodate both small and large safety chains. It features a 900 pound tongue weight, and that's the force going down on top of the receiver, and a 6,000 pound gross towing capacity, and that's how much it can pull behind it. It is rated to be used with a weight distribution system. And when you do that, the gross towing capacity increases to 8,000 pounds. Tongue weight's gonna stay the same. And now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiving tube, it measures about 16 inches. This is important when determining if you need to drop, rise, or raise shank on your accessory. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about two inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. We'll begin our installation underneath the vehicle on the driver's side. We're gonna to need to remove this paneling. There'll be seven fasteners holding it in. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, and a flat bladed screwdriver. Remove the tabs by pressing out the center and pulling it down. There's one there and here. Then with your 10 millimeter socket, Remove the bolt located here at the rear, and the two by your mud flap. Then use your 12 millimeter socket to remove the two nuts next to your spare tire. You may have to pull down slightly to get these through. There's one in the front and one in the back. We can then pull our panel down and set it aside. We're on our driver's side frame rail here underneath our plastic panel. We're going to need to remove the three plastic plugs there and the two rubber plugs here. You can use your flat bladed screwdriver to pop the rubber plugs out. And then you can unscrew the, the plastic plugs. Then remove the two rubber plugs on your passenger side. Then remove the three bolts on your passenger side using a 17 millimeter socket. Then next to the 17 millimeter bolt that you removed towards the front, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that also needs to be removed. So remove that with your 10 millimeter socket. And then we're gonna drop that tab down and set it aside. You'll then need to trim off the exhaust deflector here. So you just wanna fold that down. You can use your tin snips. We're just gonna cut this off. Then prepare all of your hardware. You'll have six bolts. You'll place a conical tooth washer on each one with the teeth facing away from the head of the bolt. We'll then raise our hitch into position. You want to make sure on the passenger side you go up over the exhaust. Then line the holes in your hitch up with the holes in the frame and thread your bolts right into the factory weld nuts. And once you get one bolt started on each side, it'll make it easier to install the rest of your hardware. Now tighten down all your hardware with a 19 millimeter socket. Then torque all of your hardware to the specifications in your instructions. You can either leave your under panel off on the driver's side or you could trim it and then reinstall it. Go on ahead and mark it out where you'll want to trim it so it'll fit properly. There's two locations you'll need to trim. You can cut that with a cut off wheel or with a pair of tin snips. Here we've got our panel trimmed out and now we can reinstall it. The nuts by the spare tire, those can just be pushed back into place. Then you can insert your push pins and reinstall your bolts. The black bolt goes on the inside of your mud flap. And that completes our installation of eTrailer.com's 
Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2018 Toyota Highlander.